A small steam pump that does not work. Part 1, the introduction. I was sent this pump by a viewer to see why it does not work. I connected my compressed air line to it and it appeared to run, but as soon as I put my finger over the water outlet pipe, it stopped immediately and the air just blew to exhaust. Time to dismantle it and have a look at the component parts. This pump is three and a half inches high and it looks very much like the small steam pumps that are sold by Poly Models. These used to be made by Don English. I don't know whether this pump was made by him. It's very similar to one that I already have and I'll show that later on in the video. The design of these small pumps made by Don English did vary over time as the design evolved. I'll connect an airline to this pump and see what happens. The pump piston only seems to move up and down when I move the mechanism to a certain position. The rest of the time it's just blowing the air out of the exhaust. This clip shows the pump with the steam chest cover removed and this gasket is not right at all. You must never leave the material of the gasket unsupported in the center. So what I'm doing here using a Stanley knife is removing it. The two slide valves are a bit of a rattle fit and they really don't feel very good. This is a bit of a worry. The port face is a mess. You can clearly see where the valves have been rubbing on the port face and please bear in mind this is a very small brass pump and brass doesn't wear well. And it looks to me like the port face is not flat. The wear around the ports doesn't extend all the way down. I'm going to start by removing the studs and relapping the port face on my whetstone. First of all, I apply some lubricating oil and then I rub the pump up and down the whetstone until the port face is truly flat. This really did take quite a while. In this clip, you can clearly see that the port face is not flat. I've rubbed it up and down the whetstone and there's a nice shiny bit in the middle, but I need to continue until it's all like this. This took a lot longer than you see here. In real time, this job took over 20 minutes to complete. And finally, at last, it's flat. I wiped away all the residue, and that's one job down. The next thing to look at are the slide valves. Here they are. They are very small indeed, and they are both quite different to each other. One of them has rounded edges. This part of the slide valve is the outside part that rubs up against the inside of the steam chest. I think it's time to investigate further. This is the steam chest cover. I rubbed it on the whetstone for a while and as you can see, it's nowhere near flat. This is a bit of a worry. My friend Don English of Jubilee Fittings, who I think made this pump, is an excellent engineer and I don't think he would have made it with a tolerance like I'm looking at. I don't know what's caused this, but the gasket material used really wasn't very good, and I don't think it was original. There's a bit of a problem with doing this job, which is one that unfortunately does exist. I've just looked on the Poly Models website, and these pumps, brand new, are around £380. I charge an initial inspection fee of £50 for looking at an engine, and by looking at, I mean doing things that I'm doing here, to see how difficult the job's going to be. I have one of these pumps, and here it is. When Don used to sell these pumps originally, this display model was made up to demonstrate it at exhibitions. And as you can see, many years on, it runs very well. Having said that, it only runs on compressed air. When I run it on steam, it doesn't pump water into the boiler. I once took it apart, and the port face was quite worn probably owing to the fact that, as a demonstration model at exhibitions, the lubrication of it running on compressed air was inadequate. These are the shuttle pistons, and there are two of them. The owner of the engine made a replacement, but as far as I can see, there's nothing wrong with either of these. But for the purposes of testing, I'm going to fit the original shuttle valve back in place. These shuttle valves really are a separate piston in a separate cylinder inside the pump. So really these pumps are twin cylinder and these shuttle valves make it so that the pumps are self-starting. They can be fraught with difficulty though, but I don't think this problem is to do with the shuttle piston. I may be wrong. 
What I am concerned with is the different bolts that are used in the construction of this pump. One of the bolts on the steam chest cover is a different size to the rest, and I'm having to use two sockets to undo them, one for each size of bolt. The owner of this pump is one of my patrons, and I've just messaged him to ask him to give me a call on the phone, because it's much quicker than typing. And at the time of editing and voicing over this video, I haven't received any calls. So that is it for the initial inspection. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.